Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial session with me, the virtual assistant, and today I will show you how to speed up your WordPress site using better delete revision. This is a plugin that allows you to delete page and post revisions and optimize your databases as well so that your website will load a lot faster. And why are we doing this? This is because Google likes websites that load fast. Uh, it's better for SEO and it's better for your page ranking. So before I actually show you how to install this plugin and how to use it, uh, let's first test the loading time of my blog. Okay? Here is a tool that you can use to test the load time of your website or web page. Uh, just type in your URL, which is the virtual online assistant.com. That's my URL. And then test now. Okay, so you see here that it's processing and checking out how it how long it takes for my website to load the home page of my website to load up and then there's also the page size in here then i got this it says your website is faster than 73 percent of all tested web websites uh, which i guess is not that bad at all so the load time is 1.77 seconds I think that's great. So now that we know my loading time, let's go to WordPress. Okay. As you can see, I'm already on my I already logged in to WordPress and I have here my dashboard and now I'm looking at the plugin area where I need to install better delete revision. So I just type in here, better delete revision, and then the one that we want should be on top, okay? This one right here. And you can check out the details right there. Um, you, you'll notice that I have it already installed. Uh, that's, it. that's because I have it already installed before in testing for this. And testing this plugin so now here you can get details about the plugin and if you haven't already installed this one before then you, you here instead of uh, latest version installed you will see install now okay so you just have to click on that to install the plugin to your to your site and that's it let's close this window and then okay once you're once it's already installed then you have to actually use it or configure it so you can find it under the settings and then look for better delete revision right there okay now you can see here uh, the page for better delete revision manager you see here I have 206 posts and since I started using this plugin 561 redundant post revisions have been removed uh, that's really a lot because uh, that's the first time that I ran better delete revision manager so ex um, I do a lot of updates and then changes so there's really a lot Okay, so now you're going to use it. The first thing that you need to do is check revision posts. Click on that. And then, um, this is going to pull up a list of your revisions. Now, if you have a lot of posts, and this is the first time that you've installed this plugin, then this list is going to be long. Okay? The first one I use this... I had to scroll for a few seconds just to get to the bottom okay 
So now it says here, yes, I would like to delete them all. A total of 19 revision posts. So I'm, I don't have any use for this. So I'm just going to click yes, I would like to reduce them. Okay, so once you're done, uh, you can see here the status, which has deleted 19 revisions. And now, here above, you can see that 580 redundant post revisions have been removed. So before, it was like 561, right? And then, once you're done doing that, go back again to the dashboard for that plugin here click again and then click on optimize your database okay so for everything checks out and uh, because I've done this and but if you, if it's the first time you install this plugin you have to click on here optimize your WordPress database but since I've done that before, here you will see if all statuses are okay, then your database does not need any optimization. If any are red, click on the following button to optimize your WordPress database. So that's pretty easy. Okay. So that's it. That's how you use this plugin. Just a reminder, if you wanted to check how much your loading time has improved, just go back to Pingdom Tools and then type in your website and then see uh, your results right here. Okay, if this is the first time that you install this plugin and use it and optimize your databases, you will see a significant reduction in your page loading times. But if, like me, you've been using it regularly, then there's not a lot. I just think that it's best practice to, you know, every month or every two months or so, you, you, use, you run this plugin and then delete your revisions because you don't actually need them right so if okay so now you're seeing my screen for screencast omatic okay there so i hope you enjoyed okay now i'm back on my wordpress so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial try it out see how how your page loading time improve uh, improves and like this post or like if you find this useful thank you